Conference Resolution. We've got Pilates lead instructor trainer Vivian Zafana joining us in the studio. Good evening, Vivian. Welcome to the Solar Sports Desk. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry. I just need to clarify. Is it Pilates, Pilates, Pilates? <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but originally we asked the relatives of Joseph, they call it Pilates. But everybody calls it Pilates or Pilates, whatever it is. <laughs> as long as they understand what it is, that's fine with me. Okay, so now <laughs> what is Pilates? Pilates is a conditioning exercise that deals with strengthening the core muscles. What's the core anyway? Everybody's talking about core, right? So the core is simply the muscles that are closest to the bones, that stabilizes the spine and the pelvis so that we protect our, our back and our when you have a strong core, your arms and legs are strong. When you have a jelly belly, you have jelly arms and legs. Simple <laughs> as that. <laughs> All right. When we when we talk about um, Pilates, though, I mean, is it just strictly the body? What's the philosophy behind this? Because with yoga, for example, they say it's for your mind as well as your body. If you go to the gym, it's basically you know for your body. Cool. That's an interesting question because Pilates is a mind-body exercise. You cannot afford to read in this paper <laughs> or you keep talking yeah. while you're doing Pilates. You have to really focus on what you're working on. So if you're focusing or working on the abdominals, you will have to focus those muscles that how they're doing, your arms. Pilates, whatever you're doing in Pilates, it's always abdominals. Whether you're working the arms or the legs, it's always abs. That's why you get flat abs instantaneously because one hour workout is all about abs, even if you're working your arms or legs. Uh, speaking of working your legs, um, in the video they're on a machine, I believe this is the reformer? Yes. Okay, uh, what exactly is this machine for? Reformer reforms your body. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why it's called a reformer. Yes, uh, it has resistance. You, um, the resistance are springs. And because they're springs, it has an eccentric effect on your muscles. That's why the end product is a long, lean muscle. If you want to exercise and you don't want to get bulky, this is the exercise. You become lean, long, and, and strong. So a lot of my exercise uh, fanatics or enthusiasts, whenever I see them, they become leaner, taller every time I see them because I'm a lead instructor trainer. I, I travel all of uh, Asia like Taipei, Taiwan, um, Hong Kong. I, whenever I see them, wow, they become taller. So it really works because you bring your body into alignment. What kind of um, people would you recommend to uh, take up Pilates? Well, Pilates is a very friendly exercise. It comes from, uh, it's friendly from the post-operative to the elite athletes, even um, very strong athletes. I had a, an Olympia, Olympic swimmer that took Pilates, and he said, Vivian, I uh, judge my workout with a sweat. I said, okay, give me one or two sessions without a sweat first and see how your mind focuses on your body. So on the third workout, I told him after the workout, Please drink some towel because you're messing up my <laughs> equipment. <laughs> okay, um, you're also a uh, Pilates rehab specialist. What exactly do you do with this? Uh, rehab specialist means that um, I can deal with special population, people who have problems with their back, their spine, and also I can deal with special population like the elderly, okay. be it postnatal, you know, and even people with. Uh, any injuries post uh, rehab. So post rehab means they have undergone already rehabilitation with their physical therapist. And the, the wonderful thing about my studio is I'm surrounded by physical therapists because most of my instructors are physical ther therapists and they're licensed. And I have one of them that specializes in rehab Pilates. You don't have to wait until after you have been rehabilitated. Oh. They can go straight to her and I'm very proud of that because uh, this is the first in, in the Philippines. So that's what we're trying to uh, nurture 